from the windswept reaches of Avalanche, it's live with Captain Jackhammer. Tonight's guest is joined by a creator of the show of Blockbuster Phil. Featuring the Aztec Elite Band, here's your host, Captain Jackhammer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, and welcome to the second episode of our show. As always, I am your host, Captain Jackhammer, and I thank you for joining me. This is great to see such a packed house. I certainly didn't expect this. Mankeeble, did you expect this? Absolutely not. Wow, uh, you sound surprised. You didn't think the show was going to tank after the first episode, did you? Yes. Wait, does that mean you did or you didn't think it was going to tank? You are correct, sir. I can never understand what you're trying to say. Confounded indeed. Anyways, thank you all for coming out to see us. Uh, yeah, they didn't come to see the show. What do you mean they didn't come out to see us? Why else would they be here? Well, you said fill the seats no matter what, so I promised them all cake. What? All these people are here for cake, not for the show? Do we even have any cake? <laughs> are you kidding me? The only thing we have is two ketchup packets and some expired Yoohoo. Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some bad news. The cake was a lie. Oh! But hey, not to worry. We have a great show for you tonight. Join me in welcoming Jordan Reith, the creator of the Machinima Smash Hit, Phil. <laughs> Jordan, thanks for joining us. It's a real privilege to have you here today. Thanks, Jack. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here on the show today. Jordan, I am proud to say that I am one of the first people to ever see your show the day that it was uploaded onto Halo Tube way back in April of 2008. And even then, I thought it was going to be big. It's such a simple idea. How did you come up with the concept? All right, short, condensed version of our history. Um, myself and Anirudh, who uh, nickname is Rudy, uh, we created Blacklight Productions a while back, and we had just been making little machinima using either Grand Theft Auto, Red Faction 2, just whatever really we could make our hands on. It was, you know, nothing special. In fact, it was rather bad, and, uh, you know, we just something we did in our part-time. It was something we enjoyed. Um, and then, you know, just a little short of a year ago, I had found a contest online for someone to make a machinima about a virtual life or something. I don't even remember what it's about, and uh, I had, I had just gotten Halo 3 at the time, and was playing online, I decided, hey, this would be a good setting, you know, this newbie comes online, meets all these random people, and, you know, how do they interact, so I decided to make that, and I wrote a script for like a 10 minute version, a little short movie, where he encounters basically all the characters from the show, in this little segment, um, but I overshot the deadline, by about, you know, I only had three or four minutes of footage left, or, you know, made, and so I was like, okay, I, you know, I don't really want to finish it, don't have time to finish it, so I'm just going to wrap it up and, you know, throw it online, just see what people think, because, you know, we've, we've done that before, and, you know, our response hasn't been, you know, overwhelming this, but, you know, people have generally said, eh, it's pretty good. Um, so I put it online, and, you know, then the rest is history. So tell me, at what point did you realize the show was a hit? Well, um... Not for a couple of weeks. Uh, I had, first, I just uploaded it to our YouTube account and to HaloTube, and you know I got a few positive responses there. Some people really liked it, uh, yours included. And I just, you know, I was like, oh, that's cool. People like it. You know, I was kind of thinking about doing another one just to follow up on it. And then uh, I had also uploaded it to Machinima.com, and they somehow posted it on their site. And, you know, over the course of one weekend, I got, like, 100,000 views or something. And, you know, I got a huge influx of people spamming, you know, subscribing to us and then giving me uh, messages saying, oh, that was great, you know, make make some more. And so I was like, oh, well, okay. And then from then on, I, you know, started writing a script for how this could possibly go, and, yeah. Okay, Jordan, I want to ask you something so the people at home can have an appreciation for what it is that you do. Okay, so you do the voices for Zach, Wally, Chad, Sarah, Pat, and 99% of all the other random characters. 
My god, it's like you're a one-man show. Does it ever become too overwhelming? <laughs> Actually, no. That's probably the most fun that we have with the show, is uh, voicing these goofy characters and saying all these weird things that we find to be hilarious. Um, but yeah, uh, it was just it's just me and Rudy doing all the voices. You know, we do everything, basically. We did have a guest speaker for day six. We needed a chick voice, so we got uh, uh, Veronica is her name to voice for Lily, and she will probably reprise that role in a future episode. Um, but yeah, that is it's you know it's the most fun we have with the show, and it, I think it's great how we're able to do so many different characters and yet have still have people be surprised when we tell them that we do all the characters. Um, I think what's good about it is if you're just watching it, you know you don't really realize it. You know, you might see if one or two are similar, but if, you know, it's for the most part, it's good. And then if you look deeper, you can actually be like, oh, yeah, I see these are all voiced by the same guy. I don't know. I, I think it's funny when you have multiple, you know, iterations of one voice. Uh, it's just, it's fun. So, what machinima directors do you admire? Oh, a bunch of them. Let's see. Let's start with the, the old guys from, you know, back when Halo was the original one. Obviously, Rooster Teeth. <laughs> The show was funny, especially in the beginning. I really liked it, and uh, you know they did a good job of getting out Machinima to the world. And then uh, Fire Team Charlie, they were also amazing, uh, especially for having. I think they only had two people doing their entire show, which is you know just like us. So we really, we really admire them and all their uh, the, their different styles that they used. Um, also Pico, I don't know if anyone's heard of him. He he used to make these action movies back when the original Halo and he they were really really well choreographed and you know they're just they're they're fun to watch uh, Lethal Rage that's it Lethal Rage uh, Harabek he, I, I love him, him. Uh, he makes me laugh all the time uh, it's a different kind of humor but it's it's great it's an awesome show and uh, Dark Spire Films you know matchmaking gotta love that uh, especially Travis, I love his voice. <laughs> it reminds me, you know, he's a huge nerd, so it reminds me of me a whole lot. So, yeah. So, what are your plans after Phil? Any new machinimas on the horizon? The future. Um. Well, to be honest, it's a little bit uncertain right now. We we definitely plan on finishing the first 13 episodes of Phil, which will make up the entire first season. After that, though, it still remains to be seen whether there will be a second season or not. We just we don't want to, you know, take a good thing and just beat it into the ground and make it so everybody hates to watch it. Um, you know, and just time constraints and everything. As for uh, other machinimas, we we do have some pretty grandiose plans, but you know, like I said, what you know, who can tell what the future will hold? So we might. We might be trying to delve into different areas of machinima. Um, that's definitely our goal, but whether or not that is actually made, you know, still remains to be seen. So, Jack, I, uh, I hear you do an impression of Zach. I hear it's pretty good. Well, yeah, but it's not very good. No, no, I think, I think we want to hear it. <laughs> well, it'd certainly be wonderful having you on the show, but now we have to go to a commercial break. <laughs> that was perfect, okay? You can take my place on the show now. What are you staring at? I think it's raining Skittles. Dude, those are not Skittles! Run! What? I want to thank our guest, Jordan Wright, for being here. I want to thank TG Pyro for producing the show. I want to thank TG Gigafox for the set. I want to thank my clan, The Guard, for making this happen. Thanks to the announcer, Thank you to our Wallaby. Thanks to the Aztec Elite fan. And thanks to all of you for watching. I'm Captain Jack Hammer, and I will see you next time. Woohoo!